the issue of biological and cosmological origins is a scientific issue. But it's an issue that intersects the most important question that any worldview has to answer. Every worldview is essentially a more or less coherent set of answers to some basic questions. And the most fundamental of all questions is the question of uh, what sometimes philosophers call the prime or ultimate reality. What is the thing or the entity from which everything else came? And in modern times, in the last 150 years or so, since the late 19th century, the academic and scientific establishment has been fairly uh, uniform in its affirmation that the fundamental thing from which everything else came is matter and energy. It's the, the philosophers refer to this as the worldview of scientific materialism. It's been the dominant thought form in Western universities, at least since the time of Darwin. And it has, it has uh, I think, made all forms of theistic belief, Christian, Jewish, uh, and, and others, uh, seem simply incredible to most people in, 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 modern, in modern society because the, the Judeo-Christian answer to the question of the prime reality is, is very different. It's the, the answer is the thing from which everything else came is, a, is an intelligent, rational, personal God. That it's mind that precedes matter, not matter that generated mind through a long, undirected process of evolution. So the two worldviews of theism on the one hand and scientific materialism on the other could not be more di diametrically opposed. And each worldview has very different consequences for our view of human nature, our view of ethics, our view of the, the kinds of choices you make, where you find life's fulfillment, whether or not there is a, a purpose, an ultimate purpose for life beyond uh, you know, whatever uh, transitory enjoyment we can find in, in, in our present circumstances. So, so the, the, the question of origins is key to deciding the question of, of worldview as to which of the competing worldviews on offer provides the best explanation of the evidence around us. And the worldview choice that each of us makes about how we're going to see the world influences everything else we, we do. There's a proverb that says, as a man thinketh, so is he, or so shall he act. And uh, this is very much true of whether you choose to affirm a theistic worldview or material, a materialistic one. And so th this is, a, in a sense, the central worldview defining question of our day. Mm -hmm.